Yeah, it's 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 a typical example. So in this particular RV, it's a very high end um, fifth wheel. Um, it is all electric in the sense that it has a full size Whirlpool residential refrigerator. But it's a very energy efficient all residential refrigerators that are modern are actually very energy efficient. We talk about that on the article on the website. But they typically only use about one amp of AC power, which is good, but that's 10 amps of DC power, the inverter has to run, etc. So he has the refrigerator. He has a microwave convection microwave, no oven no LP traditional gas oven like a lot of RVs do. He has no LP gas cooktop. It's a, it's a induction cooktop. He has a 50 inch LCD TV. He wanted the ability to do laundry. He wanted the ability to run his fireplace. I have many customers that don't even think about those items, but as I start talking to them, they may not use the fireplace necessarily for heat all the time, but they like the ambiance of the fireplace. So this RV in particular, and this customer in particular, we worked together for many months trying to design a system for him to fit his budget. And I respect that. So we built a system within his budget to have a balanced system. Um, over the last week or so, while he's been using it, he realized very quickly that it's not quite enough solar or batteries to sustain his lifestyle. If you, if you know, it is, um, so he's been using it, he's been monitoring it, he's been doing homework that I gave him for an example. Um, trying different scenarios to get a sense of how many amp hours he typically consumes. But it's a residential refrigerator, bottom line. He has to use AC power to cook. Other customers could use an oven or a gas cooktop. So his average amp hour consumption over a day is averaging 300 plus. He does have enough batteries to get through one day, but he doesn't have enough solar to recharge 300 amp hours in November. And he's not using the air conditioner yet. So this customer should have went, if, and, you know, if it would have been my choice, I would have went with at least 800 amp hours or more batteries probably around 1500 watts because it's a 40 foot RV. He has the real estate to do that. And then the hybrid inverter, et cetera. That would be a good system for the average person who wants to live pretty, comfort, pretty comfortable. So there, you know, yesterday it was cloudy. Your solar output was maybe 20% of potential. So it's not a good solar day. There's always going to be days where it isn't a perfect sunny, clear day. So yeah, that's when you'd have to run, um, run the generator. But the customer, we're gonna do some more upgrades for him, do some more batteries, add some more solar. This particular solar system um, was a modular system, which means that he has some parallel solar systems going on. It has the ability, because we spoke about it in the beginning, to add solar into the future, even if it was not the same solar panels. Since it's a modular system, I can add more solar to the roof. I can add another controller. That controller networks into the original controllers. And the system can grow, even if he's not using the same solar panels, which is which it is important um, to have them match electrically if they're on the same controller. The batteries are a different story. So this customer asked me, 
well, can I do this? And then maybe down the road, I'll add some more batteries. Lithium batteries are not unlike AGMs or flooded batteries. Once batteries are installed, they're used, um, they've been charged, you do not want to add, and it's not good practice to add new batteries to used batteries. It's always been the same way. Lithium is no different. You want to have batteries, excuse me, that are of the same age, the same manufacturing period. Um, all batteries inherently um, get internal resistance as they age and et cetera. So it's not good practice ever to add new batteries to old batteries unless it's done shortly. This will be quite short, so they're considered new. Um, so that was a long roundabout answer. The bottom line, it's all electric coach. I was very honest with him from the beginning about what I thought he needed. Um, we went through the math, we did numbers about how many amp hours are typical to consume, how much solar you should have, how many amp hours you can expect out of that in June and December. And we, I do that with most all customers. Um, and then it's ultimately up to the customer what they want to do.